Introducing Nomad Cosmetics brand new Ireland Wild Atlantic Way Intense Color Palette. The destination. Welcome to a meandering coastal journey full of towering cliffs, verdant hills, and tempestuous seas as we adventure along Ireland's Wild Atlantic Way. Stretching from the wind-whipped north to the balm beauty of the south, this route has sweeping views of untamed lands and unspoiled beaches dotted throughout with charming, colorful villages. Escape, explore, and enjoy this spectacular destination Oscar Wilde described as a savage beauty. The palette, verdant wild beauty, a spectrum of Irish greens from soft moss and lush bogs to emerald gems and rich glens sprinkled with sea blues and neutral touches of limestone, peat and golden flowering plants, 11 grand mats and seven splendid shimmers inspired by the untamed and dramatic beauty of Ireland's west coast. The cause? We are proud to support the Irish Wildlife Trust that works to raise awareness of Ireland's rich natural heritage and protect it for future generations. All right, beauties, yeah, ignore the hair. Anyways, I'm going in with my Rebel Rouge Labs eyeshadow base. This is in the shade Hemlock, which is more of like a skin tone shade for me personally. Um, still freaking out because this palette literally, you guys, is the palette of my dreams. I am Irish, if you did not know. Well, half Irish. Um, and I love greens, and I've always wanted to visit Ireland. It is literally my number one bucket list thing, like, period. I think they nailed the color story here. I think it is absolutely stunning. Um, and I'm super, super proud of the looks that I created. And I really wanted to do this in real time, but I wanted to be able to kind of relax while I was doing my makeup this night and like listen to some music and stuff like that. Um, so hopefully you like this, but I'm really proud of the looks I created. I also really wanted to showcase, you'll see as we kind of get through, um, I wanted to showcase doing kind of an all matte look and then showing you, especially as a beginner, you guys know I try to be as beginner friendly as possible, <laughs> um, but really showcasing like, hey, it can be super easy. You can use just a few shades, but then you can jazz it up if you want to. So you can see I went in with this deeper green shade and I'm kind of going in at first with a pressing stamping motion. I like to do this if I'm going in with my darker shade first versus going in with my lighter shade and then kind of building from there. Um, so I really like to press down and in this case, I was trying to go for a little bit more of a rounded eye shape for me. I feel like it's super flattering for me. Of course, do what makes you feel like the best version of yourself. Um, so I'm stamping first and then I like to layer and kind of go from there and kind of fluff out the edges. I also took this down to the lower lash line as well. Um, I feel like this was for me very true to Nomad Cosmetics matte formulation. I will note that on a couple of the shades that I have used, <laughs> sorry about that, a couple of the shades that I have used, they had a little bit more fallout or kickback than I'm used to with Nomad Cosmetics. Um, that does not bother me, but I do know that it does bother some folks, so I did want to note that for you guys. So hopefully you guys like the looks that I created and I also hope that you really like this kind of more laid back type of vibe. Um, this is kind of traditionally how I would do my makeup if I were not filming. I put my big mirror in front of me um, and hopefully this works for you guys, but I like to just chill out, jam out, listen to some music and stuff like that and be able to relax. You know, for me, makeup is my safe space and it's something that I really love and it brings me joy, it fuels me, and then being able to connect with you guys also is super, super important to me. Um, and I wanted to do this palette justice and I wanted to do this video in a way where it truly was just me sitting down, playing with the palette and just having a good time and I really, really did. Um, you guys, if, if I ever do get to, you know, if somebody were to ever say to me, hey, where in the world would you love to go? Or what is the one thing you wish you could do? It would be to go to Ireland. <laughs> um, it's just, it's a magnificent place as far as obviously pictures and videos and things like that, that I've seen, research that I've done. Um, and not only, you know, am I part Irish, but I did a book report when I was in middle school for, you know, for school for Ireland. And honestly, I just fell in love with it. Just the beauty of it, the culture, 
everything about it to me is just so exquisitely beautiful you guys um i do also have a clada ring um i have a few really beautiful like irish type pieces crystal pieces and stuff like that that i've gotten throughout the years um every year i watch qvc's like rose of Trilly special like y'all when i tell you this palette speaks to me it speaks to me on a whole other level um, when I very first saw the little sneak peek, I will try to pop that picture right here. You could see a teeny tiny snippet of the corner of this palette. I already knew the second I saw that, that it was going to be an Ireland palette. I just knew it. Also, my birthday is in March. My birthday was on March 5th. So I got this, actually received it on my birthday and did the unboxing. Um, I do have that as a shorts video, but I just, I knew it. I already knew that it was going to be an Ireland theme palette and I am not disappointed at all all <laughs> um i love it i think it's absolutely incredible so yeah i went in and as you can see i'm just taking the darker green i layered it down i really wanted to build it up and then i went in with that beautiful like soft yellowy pastelly greeny shade um and just kind of buffed out the edges and stuff so i could have a beautiful soft gradient then i went in with this bright very deep like grassy green has a little bit more yellowiness to it which i love i think it is a beautiful accommodation accommodation nope a beautiful um hmm cannot think of the word a beautiful addition to <laughs> the other kind of tones of green in here that's something else that i think they did really well here like even with the golds there's one that's kind of a pure gold a true gold and then there's one that has a little bit of like a varnished kind of antique quality to it and then with the greens, we go very, very soft, very pastel, kind of more of like a banana yellowy green, if you will. And then it goes, you know, deeper into the grass greens and then even more deep, which I love. You guys know that I love a palette that goes very light to very dark. I liked to build up depth and I love the shimmers that they chose also. I would have liked one more very, very light. You guys know me, my preferences, but I would have liked a super light you know, maybe even like a pastel buttery yellow inner corner shade or something like that, like a metallic. Um, and then you can see, again, I made this a very super easy, very beginner friendly, um, all matte look. And I took that beautiful kind of butter yellowy green and put in the very inner corners again and just kind of went back through, made sure that everything was well blended. I loved this look. I think it is so, so pretty. You'll also note too, I do add a little bit of a lip. Um, and then I kind of put mascara on as you'll see, but I was going to bed after this. I filmed for like two hours doing these looks. Um, and again, I wanted to just chill out and relax and listen to music and stuff like that. That was super important to me to really just enjoy the moment with the palette, to really, really sit with this palette and just, you know, show it some love, show it just the respect that it deserves, in my opinion. Okay. Um, also, this was gifted, just that that was not very clearly stated. They, you know, I am on Nomad Cosmetics PR list. I do have a non-affiliated code. It is RiRi10. Um, and of course, this is available right now, right now at midnight. Um, I usually try to do that prior to a post or prior to a launch, especially for Nomad. Um, I like to film like a little unboxing and do swatches and things like that and do those as like short form content prior to launch. But I really like the idea of being able to do, you know, a live premiere with you guys at launch time, um, at midnight. And I just, I love this palette so much, you guys. I know that it's, I sound like a freaking broken record, but I don't care. <laughs> um, this is, it's the palette of my dreams. It is legitimately and wholeheartedly the palette of my dreams. Um, so you can see I'm kind of wrapping this look up. I'm going in with that paler, you know, color and I'm just kissing the edges. I like to say that I'm just giving a whisper of color. And what this does is just kind of makes sure that that blend and that natural gradient is there for me. Um, but as you can see, very beginner friendly, but I did not do the rest of my makeup because I was going to be going to sleep after this. So you won't see, you know, foundation and blushes and all that kind of stuff. Um, I did enough of like a little bit of <laughs> some concealer just for when I took pictures and stuff like that. Um, but honestly, this is a trick that a lot of people do, especially for social media. Um, somebody will create just an eye look and take close up shots of the eye look. And then the rest of the makeup's not even done at all. So as you can see, I'm just trying to make sure that, you know, everything is softly blended. Um, I have the opacity that I'm looking for and the deep, dark, rich intenseness on the outside. Intenseness? 
intensity on the outside and then just making sure that the gradient is there. Um, and if I mess this up, I apologize y'all. Um, you guys know that I'm on the path this year and moving forward in my life, if you will, of literally just being me and being unapologetic in that. So if I mess up, if I stumble, if I say the wrong words, then it is what it is. Um, I'm not going to be so hyper-focused on being perfect and having a perfect video because that doesn't exist. I want it to be the best version of me and I want you guys to hopefully be entertained in some type of way, um, but also hopefully learn something. Um, and that's something else that I pride myself on here on my channel is really trying to make sure that everything is very beginner friendly, but also just kind of reminding you that like, hey, I'm human, you're human, we screw up, we mess up, we, you know, and it is what it is. So there's the complete first look. You can see I popped back on. I had on my beautiful sweater that I love. I went in with this made by Mitchell, very like soft kind of limey green. Um, and I use this as my liner and then you'll kind of see where we go from here. I did add a little bit of mascara as well. Um, I had to work with this a little bit. This liner is bulletproof and it works great, but I have found that you do kind of have to warm it up a little bit. So I did pop off camera and I kind of massage it and warm it up on the back of my hand and apply from there. I did curl my lashes as I always do. I did my brows. Yes, they are too warm for this look and for my current hair. So ignore that, please. And then I went in with just a thin layer, like one little quick coat of the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I love this mascara. Um, so here's our complete first look. Again, no other makeup, and I just tossed on the Milani Lip Oil. I cannot remember the one I have. It's Fig something, but I really love it. I loved this look so, so, so much. So now you can see I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you on both eyes and do two different looks. I'm going to show you how you can kind of create a soft gradient very easy this was you know basically three shadows i layered them up and just paid attention to my blending i'm going to go in with the give me glow glitter primer you can use any glitter primer you want to or you can completely omit it i like to if i'm layering the shimmers on top of a full-on matte lid for me personally it works better if i use a little bit of a glitter glue so i go in with the glitter glue Less is more approach I have found with any type of, you know, glitter type primer I use. And then I am going to gently also tap it out just with my fingers. Now on this eye, again, I wanted to show a little bit of versatility and show you how you can really amp up a look if you did begin with something, you know, very easy. So as you can see, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And I do like to try to pick up a shade with a brush so I can be slightly more precise. But I typically always, you guys know this, I will always go in with my finger because I have found for me personally, personal experiences, that when I go in with my finger, I always achieve like the best bang for my buck with a shimmer or metallic formula. Um, they're just more opaque. You can see I was wowed by this. I loved, I love this shade. And it's super, super sparkly and stuff like that as well. So I love it. I love it so much. So I'm going in with this shade kind of towards the outer part and then into the center part of the lid. I also really think that this would be stunning if you went in kind of with those same exact shades that I use, but created more of a halo eye and then put this in the center of that halo, just because that beautiful kind of gold flip or like sparkle that's in there, it is so incredibly beautiful. Like as I moved my eye, I just, I think, in the center of the lid, it's absolutely stunning. And you know, you can see I was excited. I was so excited to use this. Like literally it's it's been a privilege to use this. Now I'm gonna go in with that beautiful kind of kind of uh, champagne-y neutrally gold, if you will, or more of a champagne type shade. Um, and I am gonna pick some up. I'm going to spray my brush. That is another good tip as well. If you wanna avoid a lot of fallout, um, you could go in also with a silicone applicator. You can use your finger. You can go in with a makeup sponge or, you know, an eyeshadow sponge. Um, whatever, whatever is your preference, whatever makes it easier for you. As you can see, it was blown away. This is incredibly high shine, very metallic, very fold. Uh, I love it. So with this eye, I just wanted to go in with a couple of the metallic shades and then you'll see what we do on the next eye. So I'll speed the rest of this little part up. Let's add a little bit of music and then we'll go from there. All right, we're going to the next eye now, and then we're gonna zhuzh it up even more, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail. 
<laughs> this eye right here, I did also go in with the glitter glue. Again, a less is more approach, and I tapped it out just a little bit. Um, and this, I am focusing on just the inner corner of the lid. And I, again, wanted to really showcase that, hey, we can start small, we can start simple. And on the other eye, I chose to do two shimmers. And with this one, I really just wanted to pop the inner corner with that kind of true brilliant gold. And holy crap. Is this stunning? Um, sorry about that again. I did, unfortunately, not notice until I took pictures that I think I put too much on my brush and it did get a little bit into my eyelashes. I don't know that you'll be able to tell watching this. Um, I actually have not watched this video back yet. I'm just hoping that my um, voiceover goes great. So I popped that on the inner corner and the first half of the lid and that basically was this look completed. I did again go in with my finger first or vice versa, brush first to get a little bit more precise and then the fingers and you know, either way. Um, I do also go in and pick some up on a brush and wet my brush. This for me just kind of makes sure that everything can be a little bit more precise and it also makes it a little bit more opaque, a little bit more shiny. Um, and you can use water, you can use setting spray, a hydrating spray, whatever you may have. So we are going to wrap this look up um, and hopefully you guys like this look too. Now I'm going in to do a third variation on each eye, but also I still feel like this is super easy, you guys. Very beginner friendly. You can, of course, sit in the mirror and practice. Look, I was just, I was hoping for the best. I'm going in with these made by Mitchell Graph Ink liquid liners. I'm taking a deep breath, y'all. And I didn't really have a plan here. I just knew that I wanted to use the white and the green. Um, I do have hooded lids, so I literally was like, you know what, I'm just going to go over the hood and I'm going to do it in one fail swoop. And oddly enough, surprisingly enough, shockingly enough, it actually works. Um, and I literally just did a like swooping shape and I, I think you could do any shape that you wanted to do, any colors that you wanted to do. This would be super beautiful if you did like a purpley pink type of look and then you did like a purple and a pink little swoop. Um, so yeah, I basically just went in and did a little swoop. And then I did let this set down for just a second and kind of dry. And then I went back in and made it a little bit more opaque. You can see, look y'all, I was, it, I was just hoping for the best. And it actually turned out brilliantly, if I do say so myself. Um, yeah, I like this look so, so much. I was super nervous. Now we're gonna go to the other eye. And for this eye, I'm just gonna do some little pretty rhinestones. You could do little pearl ones, however you wanted to do it. You could add as few or as many as you wanted to. Again, letting the other side dry for a second before going in with the white. I think that's really important. When you're kind of building up or layering a look, you're going in, you're doing graphic liners. Um, even if you're just doing like a black liquid liner, I think it's important to make sure that you let everything kind of dry in between, especially like for me, I did want to make this a little bit more opaque on the green um, and just kind of make sure it was a little bit more even and kind of the even opacity throughout. Um, and with these, I'm literally just taking a pair of tweezers and just sticking them wherever. Um, so very random, but I thought it was really pretty and very impactful. Again, I wanted to showcase that you could do so many different looks based off of one look. You could start off really easy and then zhuzh it any way that you wanted to. I could have also done like the graphic liner on one side and done the rhinestones, however you wanted to do it. Um, still chilling, jamming out to music. Um, who is your favorite artist? I'd like to know. I'm pretty sure this night I was listening to Pink and then I had some Jelly Roll playing, a little bit of Otis Redding. Um, I like everything. Maroon 5. I have a, a pretty, pretty cool playlist. Now from here, I knew I wanted to start from the bottom and kind of meet it. And at first I was like, oh, I don't know how this is going to be going or how it's going to look. And I was a little like, eh, okay, I'm not sure about this, but I feel like you just should just trust the process. Um, I, you know, there's no wrong way. I think that it ended up turning out really beautiful. And I think that's the thing too, is it doesn't have to be perfect. You can sit in front of the mirror and even for myself, obviously we're, you know, I'm still learning, I'm still growing and perfecting my craft. And I like to sit in the mirror, do my makeup and wipe it off, sit in the mirror, do my makeup and wipe it off. So just take your time with this. I definitely was just taking my time. That was why I didn't really want to talk through this at the time. Um, and I was like, okay, what can I do? Let me kind of finish the shape. Let me kind of figure out what I want to do. Um, and I just layered it and I just kind of hoped for the best. And honestly, I think that it turned out great. 
So I think it's super important to just remind yourself, you know, give yourself grace and understand that not every look is going to turn out exactly how you anticipated. Maybe you don't anticipate it turning out any way at all. Maybe you have no plan like me and you're just hoping and going in. So again, I just tried to make sure that with both of the liners, I stayed above my hood because I do have hooded lids. Um, and if I didn't go above my hood, and then as I opened my eye, it would have transferred and stuff. That's another reason why I let it dry all the way. And then I filled it in with the deep green and that original shimmer. So here is that finished look. Oh my gosh, do I love this so, so, so much. Especially in person, y'all. It was it, intensely beautiful. Like I loved it. I, again, I'm super proud of this video, you guys. Um, so I did go in with lower lash mascara. I'm going in with Purgatory, which is a pure black liquid lipstick from Rebel Rouge Labs. Um, and I just completed the looks with this. You could go in with some big, beautiful, fluffy lashes. I think with this particular eye, with the way that we kind of really pulled it out, I think that a cat eye type of lash, like very short and kind of minimal on the inner corner and then kind of really flaring out would be so beautiful with this. Um, and then of course with the other eye, just the rhinestones, super, super easy. I think the black lipstick was beautiful with this. Um, and I would have paired either just kind of like a nude or a more cool tone nude with this look if I had not done the black, but I just wanted to so show some versatility here. So hopefully you guys liked all three variations for the eyes. Please let me know what you think and which look or variation you liked the best. Thank you so much to Nomad Cosmetics for gifting. Thank you to my beautiful channel members. Thank you to you beauties. I love you. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And of course, be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties.